everybody at Custom Mike. Mike Wallen here. We are live at Gene Winfield's Garden Custom. And yes, I'm in the back area. We got that 57 on top of the shipping container over there, but I figured that's stored in the back. If you can see a little bit about the backside and the stuff sitting there waiting for the next idea or the next uh, little project. And we'll walk out to the nice cars. But there's some cool stuff back here. If you like nostalgia stuff, there's probably a couple hundred cars in the back. There's movie props. There's a whole movie prop right there. Oh, there's Scott Say hi, you live. Uh, Scott is there's so much good stuff here. <clears throat> the hubcaps. It's kind of a hubcap shop. There's a few more of our useful There's a sneak peek and looking for a hard time. It is beautiful today. And uh, I'm going to walk around a little bit in the back of the room. This is a fun stuff. This is so cool. Doing. Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. You're live on Custom Mike. <laughs> What's that? I said you're live on Custom Mike. We're going live right now. Custom Mike. Yeah. With Jay Leno, when Jay Leno started doing the Tonight Show, uh huh. A, a friend of the, you know, family friend, he was reading the article. And he says, Hey, you know that he he, he pays a comedian, uh, he pays a comic writer fifty dollars a joke if he uses it. Uh -huh. And sometimes I'd submit stuff where I go, no, that's too boring, he won't use it. And then he would end up doing something like that. Okay. When, Gene, when Gene was moving, uh, we pulled a couple of all-nighters. And this, I wrote this on a piece of cardboard for one of our buddies, uh, you know, where they label stuff at his work. He yeah. made a nice sign, did a nice G-job. But this actually made it to uh, to a still photo that was on, uh, some, he was interviewing a guy that had a car painted by Gene. And the guy was looking through his scrapbook. So this actually did get on Jay Leno finally, but it was Jay Leno's garage. Wow, that's very cool. I appreciate you sharing that and, with us. And I'm the hot rod comedian. Yeah. And you know that you're probably a hot rodder if you've ever taken a perfectly good four-door and stripped it to fix a really screwed up two-door. <laughs> Take there it easy, go. guys. Thank you. Appreciate you adding to it. So, hey, everybody. Uh, hey, Don. I said hi, everybody. I didn't want to interrupt him during the, his little uh, speech there. Uh, so hi, everybody that came on. I saw the comments, but I, uh, I uh, uh, didn't want to interrupt him, like I said. So let's do a little walk around here. You can see what's uh, sitting here. And actually put a 57 Buick or Olds roof on this uh, Chevy, which is pretty cool. Then you got some uh, Mercury stuff going on in here. Another one I can't, you can't see, I guess. Shop's really cool. Some more of the tools. Mm -hmm. Watch the this, they have uh, this yeah. guy that does the car in here, too. He's doing some really cool stuff. And the, the neatest part is that he's, uh, he just started cutting pieces out. And he actually is going to cut down and make the jade idol out of this block of wood today. And as you can see, he's already started this <laughs> sawdust all over the place. And he's trimming it down um, to do the jade idol. And you can see the fins coming. And uh, the overall shape is kind of there. And I'm looking forward to see the, the final product when he gets done with it it's going to be really cool that's actually the artist right there Good job. This is cool. so cool
Anyhow, we'll get out here and take a peek at this, and we'll get some Murphy's going too. That's what we're here for, right? For a fade job, chop top, wrenching, all the good stuff. <clears throat> The Winfield signatures. So there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff here too. And it's a beautiful, beautiful day today out here in Mojave Desert at Team Winfield's Rod and Custom. And I'm just doing a quickie to here. I'll do the gimbal and stuff later on. So I apologize if it's a little bumpy, but we're actually uh, we came last night. We're in the trailer back there with. Uh, uh, with J.R. Rollins and uh, Brandon Prusha from Traditions Rod and Custom, Scotto's here with me, and uh, we uh, uh, caravan with James Sneed. I'll show you his car in a little bit here. It's out here sitting prominently displayed too. Kill it, wagon. Then you got Lisa's Cadillac. We almost a major looking car. Got movie props. Again, this is a little teaser. We'll do a, a longer one later on with the gimbal and stuff, so it's a little bit better. We got CHP here volunteering to keep an eye on us. Thanks for hanging out. Got it. Uh, some killer props here. I think some of them are from Blade Runners. That was a good I missed that movie. We got some crazy you know, trunk engine. Uh, I think we did that one at the uh, Roadster Show. It's the Tornado style drive so thing. Uh, Take a walk around. Sweet uh, that guy on your way out. and stuff. And it was just crazy stuff. That was a great, um, great prize on that one. Wish I had the money to buy it. That's James Sneed's ride with the movie prop. <laughs> They're ready? Yep. Okay. Yep, they're telling me my breakfast is ready. James, or uh, J.R. Rollins had uh, making breakfast for us. So, anyhow, this is just a teaser. There's cars coming in. Uh, never ending row, row, row and row of them. Victor's here um, from uh, Capture Customs with his rides. You're live, my friend. How Thanks for coming, doing? Victor. Thanks for so supporting Dean. Awesome. We're here for Dean. He's our inspiration. We're here because of that man. Yep. Yeah, and uh, the, the, um, the GoFundMe effort has reached the goal, but uh, I'm sure there's going to be other medical bills too that he's going to have to deal with. So if you want to support him, either come here. They have donation buckets and stuff out for him. Um, this is actually where I did the video yesterday, or the live feed from his uh, personal museum, which was almost, uh, it was emotional for me. Um, anyway, then I got the pinstripers going. Uh, take a quick peek at that. Um, but they're calling me, telling me the breakfast is ready, so I can't uh, gotta do that. Look at the beautiful stuff they're doing here today. Uh, Dante, this is uh, in Mojave. Uh, California, out in the desert, and uh, if you uh, are anybody in the industry, uh, everybody's here, West Coast Customs, we got celebrities, we got legends, we got all kinds of cars, movie props, and, and it's going to go out back in the field, uh, we got Mike here from, uh, Matt Mike is here, and you got about a couple hundred cars out there. Um, so, but if you Google uh, Rod or uh, Gene Wheel Phil's Rod and Customs uh, out in Mojave, you get the headers going. I don't have it on the top of my head right now, but we'll do more in a little bit. So, come on down and join us here at uh, Winfield's Rod and Customs in Mojave, California. We'd love to see you. Like I said, cars are coming in, and they've been coming in since like. 5 30 this morning like i said we were here last night so 
just a little teaser. Hope you guys are having a great day. Go support Gene, GoFundMe page. We posted it several times uh, on both of my personal page and on uh, uh, and on custom mics. And it's on Gene Winfield's page too. And there's updates and videos there too, uh, both from him and us uh, surrounding this event. So please take time to come on down and join us. Love you all. Thanks for hanging the custom mics. See ya. Hey everybody, I'm back again. I got my gimbal and I got the microphone so we should have a little bit better uh, uh, audio. But I figured I'd start with the back lot at Gene Winfield's. They're out here in the beautiful Mojave Desert. And uh, there's a lot of treasures here. And I want to kind of give you an overview of all the stuff that's kind of here at uh, the back 40 of Gene's. But... Uh, it's, it's interesting when you walk through here and you see some of the things that they've been working on. And I started at one end, so you're going to see all of it. I'm going to walk up and down most of the aisles and take a peek at what he's got sitting here. Um, you got half Cadillacs, you got full Cadillacs, you got El Caminos, VWs, you got convertibles, you got Chryslers. There's uh, there's no end to the um, stuff that's out here that they've done. There's a lot of movie prop stuff, uh, a lot of, of uh, leftover parts. I don't know where all this stuff kind of comes from, but uh, it all has been gathering out here for years. And there's some of them that are uh, heavily customized too that got started and stopped for whatever reason some of them uh, we've seen in car shows uh, maybe 10 years ago maybe 20 years ago and now they're sitting out here in the dirt hello thomas this is a pretty clean 57 right there we'll walk we'll walk while the line is see it's a beautiful surrounding too out here in the Mojave Desert it's a sunny day and uh, it couldn't be better we will end up to once uh, we walk through this I'll walk out to the to the show show which is what most of you guys want to see anyway uh, God, I love those taillights I think that's what uh, hey Tony uh, I think those taillights are what uh, Steve Bolron put on this uh, uh, T-Bird. <laughs> Look kind of cool. Uh, oh, look at that. Yeah, you got a 50, what is that, 58 Pontiac over there. Panel. This is a chop top. It was probably done a long time ago. There's two chop tops. What am I talking about? Uh, I am, um, you're asking where I'm at. I am actually in the back 40 of Gene Winfield's shop, Rod and Customs, in uh, Mojave, California. And this is the stuff that's just sitting around in the back. I figured this was pretty interesting. Yeah, you, you can totally get a diamond in the rough here. Um, and, uh, you, know, I mean, you know, how often do you see a chopped square body Chevy not very often it's just sitting here you know oh we got a flat top caddy over here too there's a diamond in the rough hi from hi UK you need a seat for your 34 5 window you need to go talk to Gene he might have one somewhere in these piles check out this flat top oh my god I love flat tops 1959 Cadillac beautiful uh, is this a Kaiser? I'm not sure what this is. No, it's a Packard. I'm sorry. It is a Packard. Yeah, if you call Gene Winfield Broad and Custom and ask, some of this stuff has for sale signs on it, so I'm sure uh, you can inquire. The worst that can happen is that they'll still say no. Wonder what kind of project this one is. Oh, let me get her up a little bit there. 
They're stripping it down for something. You know, you got an old Volvo sitting there. You know, 544. Well, there's another RV, no, two RV chassis. That looks like a Mercury back there. And uh, a pile of leftovers. Oh my God, there's a lot of stuff in there. All right, back to the cars. Oh, look at that caddy. Oh, and it's such a beautiful day today too. It's perfect walking in. The wind is just a, a very light breeze. The sun is out. Clouds clear. I mean, look at look at the mountains over there. It's just gorgeous here. Beautiful, beautiful day today. So, and we're walking through uh, Gene Winfield's Rodden Customs Boneyard behind uh, the shop, and we were uh, just fortunate enough to watch a a uh, um, like a little podcast where they called Gene uh, in Finland, where he's recovering from breaking a hip, having surgery, and um, he actually caught a little bit of pneumonia too. And I, uh, I gotta say a warm thank you to everybody out there too that have donated to Gene. They have reached the goal of the cost for the flight. Uh, and I think uh, Kalita Racing have uh, started some discussion in regards to helping him come across the pond too. We just hope that he uh, uh, spends a little time on his recovery to feel a little better before he tries to fly back home. So, oh, it looks like they started to section this way, maybe? Is that what I see? No. Oh, they grind it off like they were gonna. Two of them, tops chopped. Uh, something stored for somebody. A lot of Cadillacs here too. Anyway, so a lot of you donated. I think it's up to almost eighty-nine thousand uh, dollars to cover his flight expense coming home. And um, so I'm very, very grateful that everybody did show their support to Gene uh, that way. And he was very grateful too in the call that they set up uh, at the show. So and he, he extended a gratitude to all of you uh, that helped him in any, any, any small way. So let's uh, look a little bit more over here. Yeah, this, uh, there's a, a Edsel over there, We're actually with a Carson top on it, a plastic Carson top. That's a, that looks like a hers. An old like Cushman type thing. Got a Mercury over here. What's that? Oh, look at that clean front end. That's that 46, 47 Chevy. Oh yeah, beautiful. There's a cool bus over there too. A lot of trailers. <laughs> that Lincoln's got a good look to it. Check that out. I think it's got a later model Lincoln roof on it that they started uh, chop top wise. I might be wrong, but uh, to me it looks like a later model, like an early 70 or mid 70 roof, but it's got kind of a wicked look to it. <laughs> a dream for somebody. I remember too, here's this old truck. I think in, it was probably 85, he was delivering a, a custom to Sherman, was it Sherman Park or Sherman Oaks or whatever is uh, outside past the Robles in this thing. And my mind was just blown when he pulled up with a radical custom on the back of this thing. And uh, I don't know, memories, lots of memories. So we got, Oh, look at this. Nice. Nice wagon. Nice little hot rod there. Cut off top. But this is what I wanted to show you too. Somebody was saying diamond in the rough. There's a little diamond in the rough. We'll, we'll go, we'll see the, the cool stuff. And Harold, this is Gene Winfield Rotten Customs Boneyard. Um, in Mojave, California. And I figured we'd do the, the back tour before we go see all the pretty stuff. Like a Cadillac El Camino. 
What a totally whack Chevy truck. What's this, a Mopar? I'm totally 40s, maybe. And I remember this caddy. I've seen it on the roast to show floor. I wonder what's going to happen to it now. Maybe they'll redo it one of these days, you know. And you got a T-Bird. How you doing, JR? Good. These Mercs have been sitting here for a long time. Somebody asking about Merc parts, so you can probably uh, talk your way into these maybe even. There's quarter panels here. There's doors. I mean, you know, you look over here, there's a pile of hoods. There's this car parts as far as you can see. And if we go around this booth, there's more parts. These are a really cool logo on this one too. Yeah, uh, I think they saved them just for that. Uh, hard top chop works. You know, and there's a pattern for a canoe to do a, um, here, let me get it stuff to do like a fiberglass ca canoe. And you got a merc plastic mercury hood. And you got a small version on this little, what do you call it, automatron or whatever they call it. So, they're making all kinds of stuff there. You got a 32 Ford side shot in fiberglass. I don't know what that nose is for. You got a ton of bumpers. Fiberglass doors. Two door door, quarter panel for a Mercury down here. Let me get back down. There's some parts for you. You can probably buy some of that. I see Mercury fenders, Mercury windows. Oh, look at that. All kinds of Mercury. There's the molds for uh, making new stuff. There's even a Mercury roof mold. There are some roofs, caution top stuff laying right here. There's a whole stack of molds in here. So. Call them, uh, there was a few AMCs out in the back. Uh, you even got cartoon cars, or like Mercury's. Oh, there's another Merc right there. I think that's a fiberglass one. More molds for Mercury parts. Yeah, that's a chop top. Five, did they put a fiberglass Merc? Oh, okay, so this is a fiberglass that they put on a different chassis. You can see where, uh, let me, Scan down here a little bit. You can see the floor of the donut car right there and the fiberglass body right there. So that's a good start for somebody. Yeah, nah. I think that's a Blade Runner car mold. And there's a full Mercury body right there. And a Carson top and, and a chop top that was cut off, it looks like. So, anyway, let's walk towards the, the fun part of the show. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they got a little twisty in the back, too. That's cool. So, let's we'll sneak back out here. We'll take, see if we can shoot a little bit into the, the shop area, too. Ooh, sneak peek. They're looking like they're painting a Mercury. Oh, yeah. Oops. A little mercury action. Yeah, they're, they're, the blade run. I love all the blade run stuff. I show you some of that stuff too when I, when I come around. And he's got a batch of cool tools too, if anybody's a tool freak, so to say. There's a ton of stuff here. Like I said, bumper galore, parts galore. Here you got all these old tools. Some of this stuff is handmade too. They, they made. Uh, and I, I showed this before, I'll show it again. Some of you haven't seen it, but there's this door into the shop is really cool too. So here you got a little break. Got a nice little Pexto share. Looks like a nice little press break. Up. And there's a chainsaw thing we showed it a little bit earlier. And it seems like he's actually just working it right now. So we go see him doing it. Mike? Yeah. How are you doing? Good. I'm, I'm Mike. Okay, you're live on Cup <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, good <laughs> to meet you, man. Good to meet you, too. Yeah. Thanks for coming supporting me. Yeah, yeah. We gotta go. Oh, the reaction. 
calling it, you're live on custom mics right now, but they call it the Wood Idol. The Wood Idol? This car is called the Jade Idol. Nice. They're, they're named it the Wood Idol. <laughs> that is cool. You're doing a great job. It's looking good already. I'm amazed. Love it. Yeah, fantastic. Here's a car. You can go see it live on custom mics. Nice. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm showing off some of this stuff too. So. Where, where can they get a hold of you? Uh, TheBarefootCarver.com. BarefootGarver.com. Yep. That's the guy that's making the <laughs> the like, wood idol. No shoes. <laughs> no shoes. <laughs> yeah, he's in there the cutting barefoot. the stuff, the chainsaw wielding with no shoes on. <laughs> yeah. Bet you wish I loves that. <laughs> well, this is pretty comfy. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Beautiful work. I'm I'm really amazed. I'll keep checking back in. I will be back. Stuff you get to see here is incredible. <laughs> so we're out here with the. Uh, can we showed those earlier. So let's go uh, a little bit more. This VW is pretty cool too. Oh, there's a lot more cars going on. It's fantastic. It's kind of got that Ronnie theme going. I love that black pickup. Oh my God, it's so cool. It's important for these two dies to be lined up pretty good because on each side of the thumbnail, if you don't, you'll start to develop marks where you're thinning it out, where you're pinching it between the two dies. So. Drive that in, then these swaps are a lot faster. You can sit here like this. 
spot some ideas here that are just saving money but that's the thing with round dies they can turn them on a lathe but what you've done is you've removed the corners of support for the die so you know how much load are you transferring through the die and into the machine when you've cut the corners away on the lower tool and the upper tool you've lost all that surface area but it makes it easy to produce so what have you got there we're shooting live all right, so they got live feeds or live uh, demonstrations of the oh wow of a yoder hammer. I'll try when I hear it going. I'll try to go back when he's done adjusting it. So and we got the some of the Blade Runner stuff and other movie props. This thing is huge. <laughs> Big old one. And I think this is a taxi. If I remember correctly, this is a taxi from the Blade Runner too. Or it might be something else. Or somebody will correct me. I have no idea what this one's from. But so, for those of you who are not sure where we're at by now, we are at the Gene Winfield Shop, Rodden Customs, in Mojave, California. And uh, we did a little teaser earlier. We did uh, a video last night of the museum, of Gene's personal museum. And now we're walking into the car show itself and showing you some of the craziness that's here. A lot of movie props. We got cars and bikes coming and going, a lot of celebrities, a lot of celebrity cars, a lot of movie cars. <laughs> it's the best barbecue ever. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah. 
If I can catch this, I don't know what I'm going to do with the next time. I, gotta, I know I'm going to fire this one. So if I can, I'll try to catch that later on. The Jade Eye. see out there in both directions you got the famous 57 on top of the uh, container and there's some incredible cars here too you got some vendors too and we're gonna go back in the back there's a bunch of cars in the back too so the highest to high to customs by Spence and Zambinos on these uh, cool uh, trim rings. No, I'm not holding them Oh, come on, up. hold them up, come on. Like, hey, gotta show them off. Like there this. you go. <laughs> 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 That's Mr. Spence right there with his fancy rings. Got them all sizes. Well, if anything, I'll just. Uh, In all shapes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm measuring the outside diameter and so, we'll, yeah. we'll get Custom it there. By Spence I mean, has those. Makes it really easy to do the Frenching and stuff, so. Anyhow, Mustangs, Corvairs, pickup trucks. Those are a nice Firebird in there too. Now I got some Hot Wheels. We like Hot Wheels, we like art. Uh, some cool stuff. All signs. And we got eight there too, number 32. People hanging, having fun. Cool. We make you some stuff. How you doing? Thank you for supporting Dean. Awesome stuff. It's always a new way of doing things, you know? Yeah, I like it. So many people here supporting them and I love that part. Deuce of spades. So it's 25 and 45. So you'll be 30. I'm too tired. So. Yeah. No problem. Hello, Mike Rooters from Utah. How you doing? There's so much good stuff. So that's chop section and channel, I think. And on the ground and bow. Beautiful. Love the fleet lines. Nice ghosty style flames. Oh, Firebird. I like that. Flames and scallops. I'm so glad we went. And the whole goal here is to support Gene and uh, get him back here to the United States and healed up so he can continue inspiring us every day. He's been inspiring me since I was a little kid, you know? J. Dial is one of those cars that are just epic. Always on my mind. All the windfill stuff. Go 
books, flags, everything, chrome doodads, t-shirts. I'm going to check this out. This is, yeah, this was another really strange reveal. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Ian Russell's he didn't, latest. He didn't say how much after. No, he did not. Exactly. We got yeah. chopped off wagons. I think it's so cool that the guy, you guys named it the Wood Idol. The guy that's carved. You're welcome, Augusto. I wish you all could be here, but this is the second best thing, right? Pretty awesome. Yeah. Check out what the pinstripers are doing. Oh, check this bull monster just did this one. See Jim's face right there. Just, we got a whole, a whole group of dedicated pinstripers out here supporting it. Their work is so beautiful. Live on custom mics. How you doing? <laughs> good. How are you doing? Good, good. Nothing like a little pressure, huh? No. <laughs> Love seeing you guys just create your art. It's so beautiful. There's so many of them too. So much intricate work. I don't want to get too close. Bump them, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to get a little bit closer. <laughs> Beautiful work, man. Thank you. There's so many examples. Oh, Custom here supporting Thanks too. Thanks for coming and supporting the show. Yeah, we're uh, live. Hi, hi. Right. How you doing? Thanks for everything you do. Oh, you're very welcome. Love being here. You can call them and order a shirt too. Look at that lovely shirt that you can have. It's a lovely shirt. Yeah. And there was a second show them how to design, if you don't mind. Which one? 
Oh, it's cool. Well, we have we have here the event T-shirts. Oh, beautiful. So they can order that online too. No, these are the last ones. So these, these are the last ones. So you got to come ones. here. You got to come here if you want it. Yeah. That's and we cool. also have plaques for the cars in all different colors. Yeah. And of course the new Winfield logo. Yeah. They are in blue this year. So, Wonderful. Very nice. Yeah, I, I saw the logo. Saw and they got here. all the stuff. We have we have all the, the different colors. Jean's favorite, of course, green. Yep. And the blue and the red and the purple. So either the shop logo or the uh, 11th custom car show gathering for Winfield Watson. Okay. But they can buy merchandise online too? or? Yeah, there's an online store for everything. Yeah. But most of the stuff that you see here today is going to be unique to every individual booth and seller. Yeah. So. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We wish Jean well. Yeah, we all love him so much. Yeah. Clearly, too, by the amount of people showing up. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Unfortunately. Sounds like that hammer is going, so let's sneak back towards the hammer. Give you an idea of what's going on. So we could probably do it with a six, but we'll go to the shop bench here and take the form out of it. So you can see it, we're starting to develop a highlight line. Now the light chases along. So, you know, we're working into a fender shape. I don't do a whole lot of work at the edges. Nothing's holding the edge. There's really nothing you can do with it. it you know, it's, it's not like you can contain it. Uh, it, it's just loose, so it's going to be form only. So when you get it onto the car or you're fitting it onto the fender, you, know, you don't need to mess with that. A lot of times I see guys take Lancaster shrinkers and stretchers and try to get this thing down. It really makes no difference. Nothing's holding it. And they're just trying to get it to sit, but you could just put it over the bench and bump it into place. You know, it's, it's going to be handwork if you're fitting a section into a fender and welding it or even you're welding it to other pieces. So when you say you've got a wood buck, and you're only gonna make a certain section, then make it a little bigger so that it overlaps the next piece and you can scribe them and then weld them down the center. And, uh, and then you'd planish the weld out on here. You have so much energy that the weld's gonna be completely planished flat and you're not gonna see any difference. You'll see where the weld is, but it'll be completely smooth with this. So, you know, you've got all the energy in the world for that. <clears throat> Put a little more form back into this. You gotta have four.
can see we're starting to develop the highlight line. You know, you can see this kind of golf ball look, but we're, it looks okay. It still looks kind of like a bottle cap. The most shrinking is going to occur here at the edge, so if this needed to come down more, if this were good, if you check this with your uh, radius gauge, which I didn't bring, so sorry guys, kind of leaves a blank in this explanation, but <laughs> you check it with your radius gauge and see how it fits, and you come back in, and if it's not fitting good, you don't need more shrinking, you need to stretch a little bit more and pick that area up, and that's what we're doing with this. We're stretching and picking up the highlight line, and if you... If you move from shaping with an English wheel and the mallet and stuff like that into the hammer, uh, then you would have really great experience in doing parts with only stretch. Because if you start with the wheel, you're only doing compression, you're only stretching, uh, you're not doing much shrinking, unless you're shrinking with a pull max and going to the wheel or something. So you would have really good experience in that. There's guys that maybe just start at the planishing hammer and the power hammer and don't know what it's like to only do a part with uh, stretch only. And so sometimes that'll leave a gap in your education where you're like not used to just doing a part all through stretch you know low crown panels uh like for the side of the van this this side piece here uh hood tops door skins you know those are going to be stretch only and uh, a really good way to show how wild uh low crown work is is to take a three foot welding rod and put it between two blocks of steel and move one of them in an eighth of an inch and see how much that rod moves you know, that's the idea in low crown panel work. You're making such a minute change. That's how wild it is. And so we shape with sweeps to define the language of the automobile. You don't see them. We cleaned up and the sweeps hanging out on this table. Sweeps are eighth inch raises over a 60 inch cord. And uh, that's a system that Harley Earl used and they would actually use the sweeps to, to guide clay on the buck, you know, on the actual clay model. And so that's, that's uh, when you're trying to reverse engineer a car, then you're going to measure out what the sweeps are, and then your highlights will be the only thing that you'll measure with a radius gauge, you know, the actual transition from this surface to this surface. You know, that's what the highlight is. And they're never flat. You know, you're never flat surface to flat surface. It's always going to be a transition zone where this might be a 12 out here and a 24, and it blends out. The only things that wind up having maybe a flat between them is like the wheel tubs for this van, which that buck is over there. And interior, like interior parts, floors, and wheel tubs don't speak a design language. They're just a piece to fill a hole. And so that's why that has almost a flat. You know, you wouldn't design a fender like that. Even though Art Deco is very tight and over, it might be a two and a half inch radius, it wouldn't be flat. It'd be close, but there's still a transition, 24, 36, something like that, where it's a really low crown panel. So through here, I can throw in a 24. All right. We could stand and watch that all day, but it looks like I have low network connection, so it's slowed down a little bit. I apologize for that, so I have to move out of the area. But uh, we'll go back down over here to uh, see what else. Oh, we got a I love this uh, Ranchero just showed up. The, you know, the cars have been coming and going all day today, ever since, like, I, I think the first one rolled in around four or so. Um, so I'm trying to give you a little bit of everything. We got the pinstriping, we got the custom cars, we got chop tops, and we got old uh, nostalgic builds too. Here's the shark. We pulled in this morning, got some good shots out by the desert area. With a good background. Talk about a survivor, huh? We're actually standing outside Gene's house, uh, which we showed in a video yesterday, which is full of memorabilia. And there's memorabilia everywhere, and tools, and plaques, and plates, and awards, and just an endless amount of stuff. He even has his own gas station. So we got a stage going, we're going to have a band going later on. Uh, panel jams and oh my god, there's so much stuff going on. Uh, there's another view down the alley. 
in this collection of stuff. All right, let's go back out uh, towards the back. Let me give you a view. <laughs> Look at the kid hanging right there. <laughs> so let's see here. Yeah. Even got food going. Have some taco truck for lunch. Hey, hey, how you doing, buddy? Good. You're live on Custom Mike. Good to see you. You friend. as well. Nice to see you. Put a band on there, but oh, Alright, so now we're out in the back 40 where we kind of came around earlier. And uh, oh, this, uh, let's see, there's a truck for sale, I would assume. Oh, yeah. Somebody did say we'll catch that. It's a full project. I think there was a T-bird tucked away in one of these uh, containers too. Let me see if it's still open. Oh yeah, there she is. She looks to be pretty clean too. I wonder if there's something special in this one. It might be. Anyhow, so you know, getting on There's been a few cars coming in here too towards the back, but. If you got time to come out, it's going on all day in support of Gene's recovery. And uh, oh, okay. you know, a big train going to. Yeah, all right. <laughs> a big one coming across over there. Anyhow, we got some beautiful cars to hang out, see Gene stuff, have some fun, meet some cool people. And. Uh, Need some legends. Love you all. I appreciate you guys hanging at Custom Mike's and signing out. See ya. Don't forget to go to his GoFundMe and help him out, will you please? Thanks. See ya. Singles down